So my argument was simple and strategic. Mr. President, if you're going to the border, don't just go look at a fence and extend a farce. The justification for this part was the fence he went to isn't new construction. He can say it is, doesn't make it so. It's replacement fence that was planned for before this POTUS was even elected. The deception of the reality was fitting, if you think about it, because the fence farce was a redo to begin with, pretending to build something he hasn't, just an extension of other demagogues past. My argument was it would have been a great opportunity to shift and embrace the humanity that is the actuality. He's demonstrably wrong that the crisis is fixed by a wall. You see the numbers. You heard CBP. Take a look at your screen. You heard the DHS secretary. It is kids and families and the flow at the points of entry. Fence doesn't fix it alone. So if he went there, looked at the faces, showed he cared, that would put him in the right space. And there was a second stage. Use the emergency declaration to send resources to the border that they need. In one stroke, you go where almost no one in Congress has, you show that you care, and you do something about it that puts Congress in a position to have to act. But as many as you guessed, that was not a move that could make it into his head, nor certainly into his heart. Now, look, I'm no fool. And if I am, I'm a fool for hope. I believe in change. I'm about redemption and doing better. Instead, this POTUS did his least. He faked the fence. He didn't visit the kids. And when he did decide to address the devastating dynamic of kids and families flooding our border, he said the worst thing he could. The system is full. Can't take you anymore. Whether it's asylum, whether it's uh, anything you want, it's illegal immigration, can't take you anymore. We can't take you. Our country is full. Our area is full. The sector is full. Can't take you anymore. I'm sorry. It's like the opposite of the Statue of Liberty. No compassion, no conviction for finding a solution, and no real co connection to reality. Look, he is right. The system is overwhelmed. But now what? You can't end asylum, certainly not himself, no more than he can change the 14th Amendment and end birthright citizenship by himself. Even Alex Jones knows that. Here's the regret. When given a chance to show his best to make Congress see there is someone, there is something to work with, that it's not all lies and fake solutions and shows of pretend strength, he reinforced every dark notion about himself. But before you say, I told you so to me, don't be so quick to embrace the cynicism that powers our president. Democratic members of Congress went down, they're there today. I hear a hearing is scheduled. Calling out power to do their job and exposing need is not a pointless act. I argue it is the point of my job. If nothing else, you allow you guys. You can listen, you can see what's wrong, and to our leaders who are looking for an opportunity, you can create one to do better. Lord knows, when it comes to handling the crisis on the border, Anything that anyone gets done in government will be an improvement. So while some, like Don, say, step back, he's never going to do it, I say, step up. I say, we know that we can do better. He has to know he can do better. And that's why I say, let's get after it. As we see with our fear-loving leader, left to their own devices, our elected leaders cannot be counted on to act as we would like. But here's my pitch to him again. I'm trying again. You already have all the people who bought into the fence out of fear of this brown menace. You need more. People care about these kids. They care about their families. Show that you do too, and there's a win in it for you. How about that? Thanks for watching. CNN Tonight with D. Lemon starts right now. Did he go visit the kids? Nope. Oh. Just checking. You feel good about yourself? No, I'm just telling you. I just, I just come to realize he's never going to change. He's not going to do. It's great that you're so positive about it. I would love nothing more than for him to do that. But he's not going to do it. You do realize and it is. It's a, it's a fait accompli. It's like you know, you keep wishing the same thing over and over. And you know what that means. I got you. You don't have to throw the French at me. All right. What I'm saying is that even though I like Pollyanna and I like the books and I don't mm -hmm. see it as a criticism. I believe in being optimistic. I believe in coaxing sure. your leaders to be something that they haven't been. You're right. Why? You're, you not are right. Because I'm just, you know, some romantic. We both know that's not what I am. But I am a pragmatist. No. And I know that they that. often go where the opportunity is, and that our elected leaders act out of fear of consequence more than out of good conscience. Yeah. And he has to expand his base. Yeah. This was an opportunity. Well, I stick by my thing. This is not politics as usual. 
This is not about left versus right. This is about right versus wrong. This is about fact versus fiction. This is about reality versus al alternate reality, or alternative facts. That's a great way of thinking. It doesn't play with this particular person. He's never going to change. He likes being in power. He likes dividing people. He likes the chaos. He thrives on it. He does not want to be a uniter. He is a divider by nature. Fine. It's not going to, he's 70 some years old. It's not going to change. What okay. we have to do is figure out how, what do we do with that instead and quit wishing, you know, wi wish upon a star. That ain't going to happen. He's never, ever, ever, ever going to change. He is who he is. And in some ways, you have to respect that. That's who he is. That is who he is. He's true yeah. to it. I don't respect it because to respect it would assume that he knows it gets him to the right place. And I don't see how he gets that rationale. Even like on closing the border, it's still, cap it's still possible for someone to get to him and say, this is crazy talk. Yeah. Don't do it. But also remember why I say what I say. Even if he doesn't do it, it resonates with people around him. I don't think it's a coincidence that Democrats found their way down to the border. At well, the end it of resonates this with who around him? People. In his people inner in, circle? Other no, 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 no. Forget oh. them. Other people in power. You know what I mean? They hear yeah. you saying there's an opportunity in this. You know, if the president were to do this, he'd look good. Nobody's stepping up. There's opportunity here. They're looking for opportunity. And I have to tell you, I don't understand why the Democrats are sleeping on the border. I see so much opportunity for them there. Um, to swoop in. I mean, the president has left this, you know, he, he's left it there. He's basically just saying, you guys do something about it. There's opportunity there. You give them resources, you give them emergency funding, you show that you care about these kids and these families. Now, that's something about being our best. Now, that's an America that people can believe in. You think they could win if Democrats did that? Do you think they could, uh, there's a reason I'm asking you this question, do you think they could win, win over evangelicals and Christians who support this president? Some. Okay. Because the reason I ask that is because uh, you had the fact checker on earlier, and one of the things was like, you know, we're full, meaning America's full, and it was false, right? Do you, you, one of the tenets of the Bible is, when, um, is that we're supposed to take care of the poor and the needy. Sure. But you remember the whole story about in the nativity scene, Jesus, there was no room in the inn? Yep. And then they didn't realize that the person that they were keeping out was actually That's Jesus. That's right. And he winds one. up in a manger. So you never know who you're trying to keep out of it. If you believe in the Bible, if you are a true Christian. Well, even if you don't, the, the, the allegory well, stands. Yeah, but you never know. The next person that could be, could become the next sinner, the next scientist, the next person who, who, who is a cure for cancer. That's not to say that we should not have restrictions and laws and people should not 100%. follow them, but we should be more humane. Sure. And if you believe in Jesus and God, then you should be more of a Christian and you should follow the tenets of what your religion tells you. This is not doing that. This is doing the exact opposite. Oh, absolutely. There is a Christian hypocrisy involved in it. There's no question about that. And listen, you know, to your point, the reason that they have Jesus in a manger, manger, you know, they're one who likes, you like to use mm -hmm. French. That is a French word meaning to eat because right. he was the food for life. He was yeah. the food for cre creation. And, he, and these people are the food of our future. They're at least part of it. And I, I just see opportunity in there from a pragmatic perspective mm -hmm. um, because it's doing the right thing and addressing an obvious need. Yeah. And there's opportunity there, Don. There just is. I just don't understand why they're not taking it. Listen, do unto others. Just because there may be people who are coming in, I'm sure there are for nefarious reasons, but there are people who are coming in for the right reasons. And True. if I were in their position... I would want them to give me, everyone to give me the benefit of the doubt and to do unto others as you would have them do unto you. It's very simple. Well said and true. Very simple. Words to live by, but not always easy to do yeah, as we well, experience. No one does it. Everyone every likes day. to twist that whole Bible Christianity thing into what they want it to be instead of exactly what it should be. Sure. And so and then you get hypocrisy and then you get what you have now. You well, the new it. Christian perspective seems to be God helps those whom God has helped already. So if he hasn't helped you before, you, he must want you out the door. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. what they're going on now, and it's just completely hypocritical. It seems to be the ends justify the mean, even if it means grabbing someone by the you-know-what, cheating on your wife, lying, all of those things, saying you can shoot someone at that, I, you know, they I... They look the I, other way on all the character counts. I grew up in the church all my life. gave them the judges as a, that as will a help Baptist, them deal with Roe v. Wade. Study Catholicism in Catholic school. It never taught me anything as to what is going on now. I got to run. 
you had a great show. I hope you have a good weekend. You can do. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to see you this weekend. Don't say. Yep. I'm going to see you. We're going to have fun. I see you tomorrow wait. night. Not. A <laughs> Did you just. <laughs> You are so weird. Why? Because you're weird. You just Why can't this? men show you affection in... Scaramucci? <laughs> Why has it got to be an Italian guy? Why must you always hit me with an Italian stick? I have to use the word fugazi. I All have right. to be Scaramucci. Code switching. Come on, man. Come on, bro. Die Glossia. Who gave it to you? <laughs> me. Who gave it to you? In my edumacate. I'm edumacate. Who gave you Die Glossia? I'm no, Who I did it myself. I mean, if someone told me, I would tell you. You'll tell me tomorrow. Don't be jealous. Don't hate. I don't hate. I Appreciate. love you, D. Lemon. I love you. That's why right. I kissed you. I'll right. never do right. it again because you're shame. You're embarrassing me, and the audience is going, oh, my God, this is cringy. It's the favorite part of the know. day. <laughs> <laughs> I know. When is it, everyone's like, when are you and Chris going to get your show together, do a show together? No. Y'all don't want that. You like Bugs Bunny he and Daffy want Duck. That. His ego is too big. All right, see ya. See ya.